The respiratory system is the body getting rid of carbon dioxide and taking in oxygen. This happens when the diaphragm muscle contracts and relaxes. When, we, when the diaphragm muscle contracts, we inhale. Okay, hey, Rosita, do hmm? you know why we have nose hairs? No. The nose hairs act like a filter and it filters out any dust particles in oxygen. After it's been filtered, it goes down your trachea and goes to and goes through these Y-shaped tubes called the bronchi. Then the bronchi split into bronchioles in the lung, and connected to the bronchioles is the alveolar. In the alveolar, the blood takes oxygen and distributes it to the different organs in our body. Hey, Rosita. Did you understand that? Yep, I did. So that's how you inhale the oxygen? Yeah. So, we build up carbon dioxide in our body. So, to get rid of the carbon dioxide, the diaphragm muscle relaxes and the carbon is pushed out. And if you inhale and exhale, you feel, you feel the breath from your mouth, it will feel hot. And that's the carbon coming out. Did you know that? Can you try it? Oh yeah, I feel it too. Did you understand? Uh, did you understand everything about the respiratory system? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's start, start the fun project. For this project, you're gonna need bottles, straws, scissors, exacto knife, hot glue gun, and balloons. Hey, did you know that we need the balloons? I'm thinking these are for the lungs. Yeah, you're our friend. And this, there's also one more use. For the diaphragm? Yes, you are correct. Okay, so let's start. So you can't use a, a water bottle because it's too narrow and flimsy. I think a big Gatorade bottle would work, as you can see right here. So, if you're using a big Gatorade bottle, I would cut it like about right here. From right here or here. And be careful while using the exacto knife and if possible even ask the grown up to help. But we already but I already got the bottle ready because my parents got me. After that, you're gonna take some straws. You're gonna cut two two inch piece exactly. And after that you need to cut one six inch piece. You're gonna take your six inch piece Cut it on the, on the corner like this. And make sure that it the size matches. Okay, you take your two two inch pieces and you cut the corner on the one you cut one corner on the right side and cut one left corner on the left side. On the other side. So after that you try to fit in your straw into the, this part so then they can fit together in a Y-shaped piece. It might be very hard, so you can always ask your parents. So after you've made your Y-shape, you put it together with the hot glue gun. You have to be careful while using the hot glue. Now that our Ys are finished, let's use our balloon. So you guys can use whatever color balloons you want, but I'm going to be using light pink and he's going to be using dark pink. You're going to want to cut your balloon like right at this part of, of the stem. Cut like here? Yeah, exactly. One? Yeah. There. After that, Make sure you be careful and using the hot glue gun. And we're going to be adding the balloons on to the bronchi. If the hot glue gun doesn't make the balloon stick enough, you can use some tape to wrap it around. 
Let's test it. Oh, looks like it works. If it does not work, it should not inflate. But ours inflates. So the next step, take the bottle, I mean take the cap from your bottle and poke a hole in it to match the size of the straw that you're using. And you poke a hole in it with your exacto knife. And you can always ask your parents if you're scared of using the exacto knife. Screw the cap back on the bottle and then put the straw inside. After you like the place that you put your straw through, you have to put hot glue on here so it can stick. Yes, you are totally right. So while we wait for the hot glue to dry, we can cut the balloon for the diaphragm. So, try to cut the balloon so it can fit on your bottle. It may, it is a hard step and it may be challenging. So you can always ask your parents. Cut the balloon and after you do that, you try to fit it on the bottle. Now our lung model is complete. So this, this is how it's supposed to look like. So these lung tubes are the trachea and over here are the bronchi and over here are the lungs and inside there and inside here there are tiny bronchioles and then over here is the diaphragm which Abby is going to tell you how the lungs work. The diaphragm muscle is an involuntary muscle that helps us breathe in and breathe out also known as inhaling and exhaling. When the diaphragm muscle contracts air comes in and this is inhale when the diaphragm muscle relaxes the air is pushed out and this is exhaling if you understood how the respiratory system works make sure to like subscribe and comment